A crazed woman was caught on camera in a Target store in North Hollywood, California, shouting racial epithets at employees and throwing merchandise at them before being arrested. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Ava Gordy. Like this video and subscribe for more. The camera began rolling about 10 minutes into the unidentified woman's rant. You fucking sad fucking pieces of shit, fuck all of you. According to the cameraman, the woman didn't seem intoxicated. I don't think the lady was on drugs, said Cody Walzel, who shot the video, but if she was, she was also mentally ill. She talked a lot about terrorists keeping prisoners in a flesh cave down in the basement prior to the video. What the f is a flesh cave? Employees were on hold with the police while the woman berated and assaulted customers. When security got involved, the woman begged to be let go. I'll leave. I'll leave if you let go. Help! This poor security guard struggled to handcuff the woman for about two minutes, probably because he's never used handcuffs before. He's at Target. I like to think nothing bad happens at Target. Walmart is where really shitty stuff happens. During that whole ordeal, the least helpful woman in the entire world arrived. Thanks for your help, lady. <laughs> Racist rants caught on tape are becoming unfortunately more common online. Last week, a woman from North Dakota was fired from her job after a video was posted online of her threatening to kill three Somali teenagers, saying things like, we're going to kill you, we're going to kill all you Muslims. In May, a woman in Arkansas was caught on tape calling another customer a racial epithet. She also told the woman to go back to Mexico. Name calling and threatening violence against someone who looks different from you is textbook racism. Clearly, the woman throwing coconut water at Target employees is not mentally healthy. While the other two rants were just angry rants, where do racist words end and racist actions begin? Unfortunately, it's a worrying trend and it's being fueled mostly by politics. In 2016, the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University San Bernardino reported that in nine major US cities, hate crimes were up by 20% in 2016, particularly spiking after election day. While you can't blame the actions of these ranters on what's happening in Washington, it definitely seems as though racists now feel brave enough to start intimidating, scaring, and hurting other Americans. So what do you guys think when you see these racist rant videos? Let us know in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe for more What's Trending.